comic postcards. Ever since I was a child, the comic and the hostile seem to go hand in hand. What do you want? Four postcards, please. Yeah. That's when you're a decent family type of holiday maker down here. Nowadays, all you get is your hooligans and your bike gangs and your politicians. Yes. Your decent English holiday maker. They all go to Spain. Just a dredges come down in there. And the worst of them all is your politicians. They're the worst bunch of all, they are. Pretending to go on conferences and the like. All they really want is a week away from the wife. Could I have a cup of tea as well, please? Right. Oh. Right. You're not one of them politicians, are you? No. Oh. That's all right, then. Dear Mum, remember when we were all thrown out of Auntie Vi's boarding house because I spat out my food? Madness was never far away. What with Uncle Dredge and his terrible jokes and his ventriloquist's dummy. No wonder the audience wanted their money back, with that bloody dummy going on and on about the nature of time. How you stood it all, Mum, I'll never know. Those desperately neat little houses. The desolate cafe in that boarding house. Remember the paper-thin walls? So 
oh Lord. Pardon? Ha ha! Bless us, oh Lord! Sit! Ha ha! Say you laugh, no harm done. Shut up, Dredge! Right. Bless us, O Lord, for these things and for what we are about to receive from thy bounty through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Right, come on, everybody. Eat up. Oh, Chrissy, darling, I want you to eat everything up. Yes, eat it all up, Chrissy, baby. Oh, Chrissy, darling, I shall miss you so much. Still. Never mind. We'll have a nice little cuddle tonight. <laughs> Lucifer's wind. Ha, ha, ha. Sonia laugh. No, I'm not. Dredge, sit down. Right. Oh, Chrissy. Here. Yeah. You horrible little beast, you. Quite right. No breeding, the little gutter snipe. Yes, if I were you, I'd give him a right good troncy. Ha <laughs> ha! So you laugh, no I'm done. Hold you before, Mr. and Mrs. Biggins. If your either persists in spitting out his breakfast at the table, I shall have to ask you to find alternative accommodation. That sort of behaviour might be all right in Spain and your fancy seaside resorts. But we get politicians here and foreigners. A nicer kind of clientele altogether. And I do want my other guests being put off his appetite by that sort of behaviour. Oh! Here he is. <laughs> light. Thine eyes on heaven fixed must be, whose settled course the stars in peace doth bind. The sun's bright fire stops not his sister's teeth, nor doth the northern bear divide within the ocean wave to hide her beam. When I look back upon my life, it's always with a sense of shame. I've always been the one to blame. For everything I long to do, no matter when or where or who, has one thing in common too. It's a sin. The ocean never touching.
the shady night and Lucifer before the day doth go. This mutual love causes eternal mix and from the starry spheres above all cause of war and dangerous discord takes. <laughs> Welcome to Dreamland. Surrender your logic to Madame Zara and let the world roll by. It's only a Boys! Uh, no, I'm done. Where are you, boys? Echoes fade and memories die. Autumn frosts have slain July. Still, she moves me, phantom-wise, Alice moving under skies, never seen by waking eyes. You sometimes dig for butter rolls, or set lime twigs for crabs. You sometimes search the grassy knolls for wheels of handsome cabs. And that's the way he gave a wink, by which you get your wealth. And very gladly will I drink. Your honor's noble health. I try not 
Boys! Boys! Who wants to leave the room? Ah! Tenant. No. Come, Lieutenant. About high heaven, the ocean never touching. The evening light with certain course does show the coming of the shady night. Ah, from him? From him they rise, flourish, and spring. He, as their law and judge, decides their right. All away! All away! All away! Strain my beauties! Stretch those aching limbs! All! Father, forgive me. Whatever you taught me, I didn't believe it. Father, you fought me. Because I didn't care, and I still don't understand. Thou didst see God's laws with purest mind. Thy sight on heaven fixed must be. Who settle course, the stars in peace doth bind. All away! The falling rain doth winter's moisture give. These rules thus nourish and maintain all creatures which we see on earth to live. And when they die, they bring them to their end, while their creator sits on high, whose hand the reins of the whole world doth bend. He, as their king, rules them with lordly might. All away! Dear Mum, remember when Dad bought his first car with all the family savings? That blue and cream Ford Zephyr? and then drove us home like a lunatic, and how we had to pick up everybody on the way. Total strangers in the night. We could have been hacked to death. Hey, you! you. Call the police! There's a madman around! Running down! Running down! Underground! You've got a heart on glass! A heart of stone! Just you wait until I get you home! You got no fear!
owner. Special credit arrangement with long-term bonuses. You win, we lose. Every time. The honeymoon special, sir. One careful lady owner. A nun from Our Lady of the Sorrows Convent. You can phone and check for yourselves, but of course she's vowed to silence. How much? Oh, I'm very glad you asked that question, sir. And is the Pope a Catholic? I won't waste any more time, sir. I can see that you two gentlemen have the most discerning taste. It's quality that counts with you, sir, not the cost. Am I right? Or do the brown bears live in the woods? How much? How much? What a question! To go so boldly where angels fear to tread? How much? Is it purely for social and domestic use? Or do you wish to use the car for business? Sock and dom? Or biz, as we say in the trade? A bit of both. Oh, well, this automobile is most suitable for that very purpose, sir. Take a tip from an old war wound, Gov. Buy now, or forever hold your peace. How much? How would do you uh, be intending to pay, sir? A credit arrangement? A banker's draft? A part exchange, perhaps? Lucky Jim credit cards? Green shield stamps? A hostage exchange? Postal orders? Beads and necklaces? Cash? How much? Cash? 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 Oh, well, uh, for cash... About three grand. Five hundred. It's a deal. Oi! Oi, you! Stop that! What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Token bingo playing now. The more you win, the bigger the prize that's falling down before your eyes. Token bingo playing now. urgent news flash. Drivers in the region of the M40 should beware a stranger wearing dark glasses, a fawn raincoat, and carrying a battered suitcase. A killer who has savagely hacked to death three people who each in turn stopped to give him a lift. They were a chief accountant, a Morris dancer, and a nun from Our Lady of the Sorrows convent. The stranger has been known to masquerade as a priest wearing high-heeled shoes. Drivers are warned not to stop under any circumstances. What do you need? Where are you from? Yes, where are you from? I'm glad you asked me twice. You see, I'm a bilingual. I'm a bilingual illiterate. I can't read in two languages. I've just been fishing with Salvador Dali. He used a dotted line. He caught every other fish. Then we played poker with tarot cards. I got a full house. Four people died. One of them was a nun. You're very full of yourself, aren't you? Yeah. Some people do call me conceited. I can't think why. <laughs> I'm just sad. I've been up all night trying to round off the infinite. And Lucifer before the day doth go. Don't we know you? I don't know. I used to be blind. But then I started eating carrots. I still can't see during the day. 
Do you want a drink? No, thank you. That's very nice. Now, I'll get the waiter. <sighs> oh, oh, I love the radio. <laughs> I had a girlfriend once who used to sing on the radio. Every time she walked under a bridge, you couldn't hear her sing. <laughs> Oh, she was a beautiful girl, very beautiful. When I first met her, she'd just been to a psychoanalyst. <laughs> yes, it didn't do her any good, she said. I asked her why. She said, I'm a nymphomaniac, you see. And I only get turned on by Jewish cowboys. I'm so sorry, I said. Let me introduce myself. My name is Bucky Goldstein.
Ready to order. Right. Um, we'll start with the oysters, and then um, like the fillet of sole, um, Belgique. Fillet of sole, Belgique. Anything to drink? The Chateau Latour, 1942. The Chateau Latour, 1942. Nice year. Divided by zero. Ready to order, sir. Ready. Egg, beans, and chips. Two sausages, one large, one small. To mock. <laughs> A fried slice and extra beans. <laughs> Anything to drink? A cup of tea. The tea? The tea is nice. Chateau Latour. 
The oysters are on a silver platter with crushed ice and seaweed trimmings. Would you like to sample the wine, sir? No, that would be fine. What are you staring at? Nothing. Nothing. That's all right, then. Eggs, beans, chips, two fried slices. Sausages, one large one, small tomatoes. The extra beans and the tea. And side order of beans. Got a long way to go, have you, love? Oh, yes, yes. We're playing scuffle. Oh, I see. I hope you win. She's got a nice pair of legs, isn't she? Got far to go, have you? Got far to go, have you? We got the scum thought. That is if Baldy here doesn't die of overeating first. Oh, no. Got the time, have you? Pardon? Time. Have you got the time, have you? Bad off one. Time. Funny thing. Time. There are two ingredients to time. One is the notion of time as a logical space. The other is the notion of its being a logical space used by us to represent relations between events and conceptual connections between concepts. <coughs> But this just does not reflect the content of our concept of time. <coughs> Arguably, an object is a teacup only if it has been produced by a conscience agent with some general intention about its use or possible use. And, consequently, in a world devoid of conscious intending agents, while there might be things like teacups, there would be no teacups! <laughs> However, this just does not seem to apply in the case of time. Our conception of time is not something not such that we would say of a possible world devoid of conscious agents that while there is something like time, there is literally no time on the grounds that no one was doing any representing in that world. One might wish to hold that a full grasp of our concept of time involves grasping the possibility of using certain mathematical structures in representing the temporal aspect of things. Someone who fails to see this has failed to grasp something about the full concept of time!
When you're lying next to me Look at my hopes, look at my dreams The currency we've spent on the view things that we use to drink tea. And in that sense, they are as much a cultural object as chess or the Polonaise. Well, this puts things in a jolly different light. Would you like to sample the wine, sir? Ice and seaweed trimmings. Of course. The thinly sliced buttered brown bread. And finger bowls. That's it. I'll give them bloody seaweed finger bowls. Thinly sliced crushed brown ice. I'll give them bloody teacups, buckets and shells, and silly buggers. Numbers must add up. Two and two is four. Wait, let's restore some bloody logic. Shells, buckets and teacups, silly buggers. What about mowing the lawn? Contact! What about? What about a mortgage? Two and two is either four or two up, two down. Divided by, divided by, divided by, divided by, divided by, bad it in 52, Paul Zephyr. They believe in buckets and spies. Get him! Divided by, divided by! Let's hear it for Antasia Avenue! Let's not go home, we'll catch the late train. I've got to take the day on the way. When the postman calls, he'll deliver the letter. I've explained everything, it's better that way.
I didn't love you quite as often as I could have. Little things I should have said and done. I never took the time. But you are always on my mind. You are always on my mind. Maybe I didn't hold you all those lonely, lonely times. And I guess I never told you. I'm so happy that you're mine. If I made you feel second best, I'm so sorry. Dear Mum, everyone's been very nice on the journey. We're at Acacia Avenue now, next to the green before we moved. Remember how Dad hated his job and used to leave in a flaming temper every morning? Bloody frightening he was. Once I stole his car to emigrate, but the milkman caught me. I've been meaning to call you, Mum. I've been meaning to call.
Gentlemen, a voice like a violin, the evening light doth play upon the everlasting shadows. Cast no more aspersions here, young sirs. Your carriage awaiteth you. Henceforth, I shall convey you on the road to your destiny. Chains and p 
penal fire. Who durst defy the omnipotence to arms? Farewell, hope. And with hope, farewell, fear. Farewell, remorse. All good to me is lost. Evil, be thou my good. at the back of the queue was sent to feel a smack of firm government. Lingered by the fly poster for a fight. It's the same story every night. I've been hurt and we've been had. You leave home and you don't go back. Someone told me Monday. Someone told me Saturday. Wait until tomorrow and there's still no way. Read it in a book or write it in a letter. Wake up in the morning and there's still no guarantee. Dead and wounded on either side. You know it's only a matter of time. Good luck, bad luck, waiting in a line. It takes more than a matter of time. Pipes of wretched straw. The hungry sheep look up and are not fed. But, swollen with wind and rank mist they draw, rot inwardly, and foul contagion spreads. <laughs> Strangers in overcoats, hurry on home. Tonight I've been walking in the rain. Someone's been talking and I've got the blame. Change, friend, you know what I mean. Push me in the corner and I'll scream. Just give me one more, one more chance One more, one more chance
Wake up! 